We're here in the Sydney Lawrence Theater, and we're going to be talking to actor Boston Christopher about the new show that he's in, An Iliad, which is a contemporary look at the Homer classic. Let's go have a word with Boston. I found this play, I don't know, three or four years ago, and I really loved it because it has, uh, it goes back to the old oral tradition of storytelling, and it really brings in how these stories were told before they were written down. This poet wanders around, he's kind of, uh, you know, he's been witness to war upon war for 3,000 years, and he's compelled by the gods to tell this story. I like to say that this isn't your mother's Iliad. This is a really contemporary uh, telling. It is a one-man show, but I am not alone on stage. I have a cellist named Lucy Peckham. She's also the sound designer. She composed about half of the music and arranged the other half. And she is what we like to call the muse-ition. She um, stands in for the muses, and she sort of compels me to keep going forward. She, she supports me. Um, she challenges me. She becomes another person on stage for me to interact with, as well as the main scene partner of the, of the play is, of course, the audience. We only have, I think, three performances left this weekend uh, through Sunday. Uh, Friday and Saturday are at 7.30 and Sunday is at 4. And Saturday night and Sunday are both selling very well. Um, so if you would like to come see the show, I would uh, definitely uh, get tickets uh, soon. And of course, tickets are available at all the normal locations. Centertix.net, 263Arts, which is uh, 2787 or you can go to ptalaska.org. Well, the word of mouth and uh, reviews for the Iliad have been sensational, so get out and see it this year, last weekend, of course. And it's also the final weekend here on this Halloween weekend for um, Hedda Gabler at Cyrano's, Bell Book and Candle at ACT, uh, TBA's Shadow Hour up at Grant Hall. The Rocky Horror Picture Show continues at Mad Myrna's, and that'll play through the month of November, but they've been selling out, so get your tickets now. There's a lot to do for Halloween weekend, so get out and have some fun. And I think that about wraps it up. I'm Ron Holmstrom, and I'll see you around at all the fun stuff.